over with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it. And if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. Daishinkan would quickly go to the place of the battle, being surprised to only witness the bones of both guardians, and in front of them two subjects which he would quickly recognize. This is impossible. If you're the fallen Archangel Nin, and the most powerful Saiyan of the Universe 7, Son Goku. So, you remember me, Father. I never thought I would be imprisoned in a dimension like that, much less coming from my father, but now I have returned to bring down the entire Divine Realm. Millions of years ago, you had enough power to bring down the entire Divine Realm, but now, I don't think you have enough power to defeat us. I know that all of you have raised your power in a great way, but this Saiyan is a very powerful being and, as I can see, he has the same goal as me, to destroy the entire Divine Realm. Is that true, Mr. Goku? We never knew the reason why he didn't participate in the second tournament of power, but he doesn't have the necessary power to finish off the entire Divine Realm. Of course I plan to wipe out the entire Divine Realm, and that's what I have left over, Daishenken. Now I'm sure I can even wipe out the lives of the useless kings altogether. Goku at the moment would raise his power a little, causing great destruction through the Universe 11. That's right, the power of Goku was so great that even the same realities were altered, since all that place did not have enough power to contain so much power. Daishenka would be a little surprised to witness all the bestial power that came out of the body of Son Goku, but without staying behind, in the same way the great priest Daishenken would begin to release all his incredible power. Not to stay behind Goku, but something incredible would happen. Instantly, a strong gust of wind would make him fall on a planet, and felt as Goku's own gravity crushed him. Instantly, Goku would seriously be watching him in front of his Ultra Instinct Phase 3, with which he was able to freeze any warrior with a simple look. I have lost all my emotions and feelings, but I'm sure that I want to finish with all the Divine Kingdom because of a stupid game of that dwarf who calls himself King of Everything. My universe was destroyed. I'll finish with each one of you wretches. Goku with an incredible speed had launched himself against Daishenken, who was not able to dodge a strong blow which sent him flying to a planet of the Universe 11. Daishenken would recover from the blow leaving a little wounded, but at the moment Goku without stopping would continue with his furative attack with which he would not even let Daishenken breathe. The power of this Saiyan is incredible. I'm not even able to defend myself, and he's been able to increase his power to incredible levels. I'm not able to do anything against him. All this thought Daishenken, while he was massacred by that Saiyan, who was thirsty for revenge. Goku with one blow would send him to crash onto a planet. For one of the most powerful warriors of all the universes, you have pretty low power. Goku, do you want to fight an extremely powerful being? Yes, I'd like to, since this simple worm's not even capable of making me use 50% of my power. Let him go. According to the story millions of years ago, there was an extremely powerful being who had never known defeat, and he decided to be sealed in the kingdom of everything, until a being worthy of all of his powers appears, and something in me says that his being exists. So if you let him go, I'm sure that they will go to this guy. Are you talking about Kimuru? So, it's all true. There is a being who's never known defeat. You're in luck, priest. That's the only reason I let you live. So you'll be able to make me fight with that powerful guy. Never even though you have all that power, you won't be able to touch the mighty Kimuru. His power knows no limits. It's impossible for a Saiyan like you. It was said that it's impossible for a simple Saiyan to rise to the top of all 12 universes. And look, I was even able to sweep the floor with you. You good-for-nothing priest! Goku at that moment would grant him a powerful enough blow that would send him to fly through hundreds of dimensions, which would connect with the Kingdom of Everything. At the moment of arriving, he would crash into the palace. Being out of combat, the great Xenosama, upon realizing how his castle had been shaken so abruptly, would decide to go out to observe what had happened. Xenosama would raise one of his hands, with which an incredible power would begin to run through the whole body of Daishenken. That's right, Xenosama was transmitting a great power, with which he was able to return the vital energy to the priest. A moment Daishenken regaining consciousness, he would be very surprised to realize that he was in front of his lord. My lord, I thank you for your help. I didn't think that I would be defeated by that simple mortal. His power is incredible. I apologize. I don't understand anything of what you're telling me. You arrived here, so with a powerful blow. And it was so powerful that you even shook my castle. So explain to me what happened. 
Daishenken instantly began to explain everything that happened with the Saiyan son Goku and the Archangel Nin, which made Xenosama look very serious, since he knew that none of this was good, knowing that even Goku, who was once his best friend, had a power comparable to that of ending the lives of both his guardians. My lord, son Goku once chose to awaken Kimuru. Xenosama, much more serious, would stand next to Daishenken. That won't happen in any possible way. The power of that Kimuro possesses, I'm sure he would be able to pulverize Son Goku with a single blow. Meanwhile, returning with both beings, Goku had returned to the Ultra Instinct, finding himself a little discouraged, which Nin would notice. What's wrong, Goku? Even though I took you out of that place, you can tell me anything. I'm a friend to you. It's been millions of years since I had a fight, but they haven't been able to make me feel what I felt in the battles. Adrenaline. Intensity! Terror! I haven't felt anything at all! That's because your power has reached a level that hardly a warrior is able to reach. What, do you think that we face the Renegade Gods? Renegade Gods? Who are they? The Renegade Gods are the gods who possess the necessary power to end the life of a king completely. What if we invade their dimension? What did you say that they have the power to end the life of a king? I'm interested in that. Of course we should do it. I want to feel the adrenaline of a real battle! What we must do is increase a power that even breaks the barrier of time and space. With it, we will form a portal which will take us to the world of the Renegade Gods. Goku at that moment would expel little of his power, with which the disaster was evident, but it was not enough to break the barrier of space-time. Goku, much more serious, would tighten his fists, with which he would be able to activate the Kaioken increase to a thousand times, with which he was able to break the barrier of space-time. However, with all that bestial power, had been perceived by the beings of the Kingdom of Everything, which were very surprised to realize all this incredible power. This is bad. I'll have to merge with my part of the future. At that moment, the other Xenosama would appear in front of them. What's going on? What was all that trembling that was felt? Daishenka would explain everything that had happened to the King of the Future, to which he agreed. At the moment, both Kings of the Future began to merge, with which an incredible power would be felt all over the place. However, at that precise moment, the power of Goku and Neon would be felt, the power of Goku and Nin would disappear as they arrived in the dimension of the Renegade Gods. After a few minutes, Goku and Nin would arrive to an infinite space in the same way, but something to differentiate was the incredible power that could be perceived in this place. The power that's felt in this place is amazing! It has no comparison with the gods that used to live in our universes, so this is the place of the Renegade Gods. At that same instant, a being at lightning speed would grant a great blow to Goku, which would make him fall to a planet, destroying it by force of impact. When Goku stood up, a large mouthful of blood would come out of his mouth, but instead of being enraged, he would smile. This pain was the only one I felt for millions of years. A real battle. Who are you? I can see that you belong in the 12 universes of the useless Xenosama. How were beings from those universes able to reach our world? Isn't it obvious? We're beings that surpass the power of the king at all, so I wish that a being could make me get excited again in battle. What an idiot subject. This place will be your grave, since no one's capable of facing us. There's only been one being who made us flee, and his name is Kimuru. Again, that name. As far as I can tell, the power of this Kimuru must be so beastly that even beings from these worlds are afraid of him. Nyora, which was the name of the guy, at a great speed would begin to give a beating to Goku, who instantly was not able to do anything at all. However, as the battle went on, he was matching the speed of his opponent. At the time, Nyora would receive a big blow which made him spit blood, falling to his knees badly wounded. Uh, uh, this is impossible. A simple being of the external universe shouldn't possess this power. Who are you? You're not an ordinary being. I'm a Saiyan who was betrayed by the king of everything, who I considered my best friend. But that dwarf decided to turn his back on me. I was locked up for millions of years thanks to that. I have this great power. Maria, a little surprised, would throw himself against Goku, which on this occasion the battle of both was very even. So much that even planets around them were disintegrating by the great power that both subjects were expelling. Maria, in that instant, would triple its speed, being able to cut all the limbs of Goku and even, not having guard, would put his hand on his chest, destroying his heart. Nin would be very surprised to witness as Goku had been defeated. 
This was all my fault. I shouldn't have brought him to this place. The power of these guys is way above Goku's power. Now he's dead. I won't be able to do anything about it. You are a powerful being, but by destroying the vital organ of your body, you'll die irreparably, since no one can live without a heart. However, at that moment, Goku's whole body began to regenerate at a great speed. That's right, his body was regenerating completely and even his heart had reappeared. Noria was not able to dodge a powerful blow, which on this occasion had made him bleed too much, and he had even felt how that blow took his life. Instantly, an aura of lightning would rise all over the place. That would have worked if you were facing any mortal being, but I possess immortality, so no matter if you tear my body to pieces, I'll continue fighting again. So, for that reason, you're able to regenerate. But I'll give you a lesson that you're an immortal, but that doesn't make you invincible. I only have to use destructive energy to end your pathetic life, and you won't be part of nothingness. Noria, instantly, would raise a great part of his power, with which he would even transform, appearing a halo on his back, giving to understand the divinity similar to the energy of an angel. However, hundreds of rays would begin to travel throughout the body of Noori, which was being filled with an incredible power. A great explosion would be created all over the place, and when all the smoke dissipated, Noori would be observed, which had accessed his combat form. I'm surprised that a simple Saiyan had the necessary power to make me use a great part of my power. May I know your name? My name's Goku, but I'm also known as Kakarot, the most powerful Saiyan of all. Instantly, Goku would raise his power in the same way, accessing the Ultra Instinct Phase 3, with which he caused destruction all over the place, which was said to have an incredible resistance. Meanwhile, in the Kingdom of Everything, Xenosama together with Daishenkin were very pensive. We're no longer able to perceive Son Goku's power, but even if I merge, I don't feel I have the power to defeat him. We must do it. No, my lord. To wake up Kimuru, it's real madness. He can finish with the life of Son Goku and Nin, but after them, the next ones to die will be us. At that moment, an incredible power would be felt throughout the multiverse of Xenosama, a power that even made both deities tremble. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.